A week or so ago, I covered the news that Rivian, the luxury adventure electric vehicle company, was unlikely to get a rumoured investment from General Motors after sources close to both companies said talks between the two had broken down. The rumour about GM investing in Rivian began about the same time as a rumour surfaced suggesting Amazon would invest in Rivian, a rumour which later became true when Amazon announced a $700 million stake in the company. But when news of the breakdown in talks between GM and Rivian surfaced, Rivian did hint that it had plenty of other potential suitors in line to pony up some cash. And now we know the name of one of those companies, Ford. It confirmed yesterday that it will make a $500 million investment in Rivian. In addition, it confirmed that it would use the investment to work with Rivian to co-develop a new battery electric vehicle to be sold under the Ford brand. It seems where GM lost out, Ford stands to gain a lot. In fact, this investment is massive news not only for Ford and Rivian, but also for the electric car world as a whole. Rivian could be Ford's secret weapon in its electric pickup revolution. And here's why. First, Ford dominates the US pickup market. In 2018, Ford sold 909,330 examples of its F-series pickup family. Its nearest competitor was the Chevrolet Silverado, which sold 585,581 units. If Ford can successfully leverage Rivian's technology to produce an electric pickup truck, I'm going to assume that's what this mystery electric vehicle would be, then it would certainly have the beef and recognition in the pickup world to be taken seriously. Granted, Ford would have some serious PR to do to convince some of its pickup drivers that electric is the way forward, but it wouldn't be looking to gain market share from competitors. It'd just need to convert its existing customer base to electric. Not only that, but with such a massive production volume, Ford's purchasing power and tier one part supplier relationships Rivian could really stand to save some serious money on its own production and parts costs. I mean, we already know Rivian uses the F-150 body to hide its pre-production test mules, so who knows what else could be used from the Ford parts bin? Second, the drivetrain specs of the Rivian R1T pickup, while currently part of a luxury adventure pickup with a similarly high price tag, would make an incredibly impressive base for a more work-oriented vehicle. If Rivian delivers on its promises, the R1T will be able to tow 1,100 pounds, have all-wheel drive, off-road capabilities, and offer level three autonomy out of the gate. These specifications would make for a high-end F-150 or similar for Ford, and with a promised range of up to 400 miles would be more than adequate for most work and only a smidge less than some of the trucks in Ford's current fossil fuel F-150 lineup. In making the investment, Ford has acknowledged that it doesn't have a huge amount of electric vehicle know-how. As Joe Henrik, president of Ford's automotive unit noted, quote, we don't have all of the answers and we don't pretend to. We believe the next decade will be a transformative time in terms of electrification. While Ford has said an electric F-150 is already in the works, the vehicle it's planning to develop alongside Rivian will be an additional model. This also suggests more than one pickup with a Ford badge and a plug could be made. Third, Ford's investment in Rivian, part of an $11 billion plan to transform the company away from internal combustion engine vehicles and towards electric and autonomous vehicles, lessens the pressure that Ford has been under to play technology catch up. To date, while Ford has produced limited numbers of all-electric vehicles and a significantly larger number of plug-in hybrids, it's nowhere near as advanced in its electric vehicle development programs as, say, GM is. This investment will help it even the playing field a pretty large amount. What's more, now Ford has invested, Rivian says it's focusing on its agreements with Ford and with Amazon. While it's not ruling out future work with other companies for now, it's only working with Ford and Amazon. And that means for now, nobody else gets to benefit from Rivian's accumulated specialist knowledge. Remember, Rivian isn't a new company. It's been around for 10 years or so in stealth. It's only come out of stealth mode because it has what it believes is a product that's ready for market. 
Ford gets to benefit from those 10 years of stealth research and development. Finally, Ford could, if it plays its cards right and wants to, have access to a high-end premium mark, a mark that it could eventually acquire if the time is right. While it already owns its own premium brand, a luxury pickup brand could really make Ford's portfolio robust, especially if it's an electric one. That's it. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you liked it or didn't like it below. Scribble a comment. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on a single episode. And if you'd like to join our special Patreon Discord group, you can find out how to join Patreon below. Also, why not check out our new Teespring shop? We've got some great new designs in there. And if you buy something, you're helping us continue to make great content. That's it. Thanks for joining me. And until next time. Keep evolving.